I'm gonna remove the wheel, use a 19 millimeter socket, take the lug nuts off. Take the wheel off. Take these caliper bolts out, use a 14 millimeter socket and a 19 millimeter wrench to hold the stud from spinning. Now grab the caliper, you might have to shake it to the side a little bit. And use a caliper hanger tool and hang it from the coil spring. Make sure there's no tension on this brake hose. Take the brake pads off. If you need to use a screwdriver, pry them off. Now I'm going to remove the caliper bracket, take these two bolts out, use a 19 millimeter socket. And slide the bracket off. Take these two screws out. You can use a Phillips head screwdriver or if you need to use an impact driver or a socket. Take those out. And grab the rotor and slide it off. If it doesn't come off that easy, just take a hammer and hit in these locations. Just be careful, don't hit the studs. Before you put the new rotor on, just take a wire brush and just clean off some of this rust. Or you can use a die grinder. Just be careful, don't take off too much material. All right, that looks pretty good. Take some anti-seize and just give a nice thin coat on the hub. Now take the rotor, just put it on backwards first and take a little brake parts cleaner. Clean off the back side, wipe it down. Flip it around. Make sure you line the holes up with the threaded holes on the hub. And clean this side off. Take the screws, install the screws. and just snug them down, not too tight. Clean up this caliper bracket, use a straight blade screwdriver. Just take this pad slide off, wire brush, just clean up the rust. Take a little bit of caliper grease, just put a nice thin coat. Take the new caliper slide, slide it in position, and another thin coat of grease where the pad is gonna slide on both sides. And do the same for the other side. Now take the caliper slide pins out. Use a little brake parts cleaner, clean it off and wipe it down. If it's extremely corroded and rusty, you can clean out the hole in the caliper, use some brake parts cleaner and maybe a wire brush. This one wasn't too bad. Now take some fresh grease. Slide it back in. Make sure the boot seals and do the same on the other side. Slide the bracket back in position, put the bolts in. Now torque these bolts to 101 foot-pounds.
Install the brake pads. the brake caliper off the hanger. Use a brake caliper compressing tool. And compress the brake caliper. This is gonna push the piston back into the caliper, push the fluid through the lines back into the master cylinder. Go nice and slow. Now slide the caliper over the brake pads. Put the bolts back in. Now torque these bolts to 37 foot pounds. You can use a 19 millimeter wrench to prevent the stud from spinning. Install the wheel. Put the lug nuts on. Now I'm going to torque these lug nuts to 80 foot pounds in a cross pattern to tighten the wheel down evenly. Go around again, double check. When you're all done, pump the brake pedal nice and slow. There's gonna be an air gap between the brake caliper piston and the brake pads. That's good. Check your brake fluid level and adjust accordingly. <laughs> 